if there's another adult, adult watching you while you're going swimming at a beach, a pool, or a lake, and they tell you to put on a life vest, you should always put on a life vest when they tell you. Don't just get mad at them for t bossing you around, around when they're not your parents. If another adult is there watching you and they're in charge by your parents and they're just watching you also because they want you to be safe, it's important to always listen to them even if they are not your parents when they tell you what to do. Keep that in mind because it shows respect. Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Sorry I had hair near my mouth. Anyway um hey um hi everybody it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and today in this video I'm going to do a story time about the time my uh, family friends kid this is going to be a coffee and story time I forgot to mention it's a coffee and story time about how one of my family friends's kids refused to put on a life vest when my mom had told him to so this is a story about how one of my family friends kids was refusing to listen to my mom when she was in charge of watching them while we watching us while we were swimming and the kid didn't want to put on a life vest and um, he refused to listen to my mom. Mom, when, when, especially when she gave him a consequence that he either had to get something to float with, um, like let's say a noodle or a tube or anything to float with, or he had to get out of the water. Water, because she was not comfortable with him swimming without something for him to float with. So he refused to listen, so she made him get out of the water. So this is a story just to let you guys know, if your parents aren't around and another adult is watching you and you're going swimming at a lake or a pool, it's good to listen to the parent that um, is telling you that you need to get a vest or a noodle to swim with, with or get out of the water because that shows respect and that shows that you have respect for other adults who are watching you. So please keep in mind when someone when that's older than you tells you to put on a life vest, you should probably put it on instead of refusing to put it on on because they're not your parents and they can't tell you what to do. But honestly, if somebody is watching you, they are kind of supposed to tell you what to do, like put on a life vest. So please keep that in mind and always listen to an adult that's watching you. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> So this all started about 22 years ago. I was on vacation with my mom and some family friends who owned a houseboat. It was um, two family friends and they had two kids. One was my age and I don't remember how old the youngest one is. Um, so he, we were on the houseboat and um, we were gonna go swimming in the back because the houseboat was by the deep end of the lake. And so, we were really excited to go swimming in the lake and stuff. And whenever we went on this houseboat, we would always put our um, tents up in the back of the house, on the top of the houseboat when we go on this houseboat. And it was really, really fun. So we were in the lake and we were in the back part of the houseboat going swimming. And my mom was watching us. And I was playing with the family friend's daughter who was around my age at the time. And we were all swimming with um, noodles, like the floating noodles that you get in the pool. And um, my, and then um, my friend, um, my family friend's son, who was younger than the daughter, I think he was two years younger or three years younger. I don't remember how old he was. He um, didn't want to use anything to swim with. And um, my mom always had a role with me, my brother and my sister, that whenever we went camping and she was not around, we weren't allowed to go in the water. And if we wanted to go swimming when she was around, we either had to wear a noodle or a life vest so we wouldn't drown. So anyway, my mom was watching me and the two kids and she, the boy was refusing to put on a vest or use a noodle. And my mom tells the boy, You can't go in the water. You're not wearing a vest and you're not using a noodle. Don't go in the water. 
So the boy um, gives my mom a dirty look, look, dirty look like, and he goes, and he's shaking his head like this because he doesn't want her to boss him around. And so um, he's refusing to listen to her. So he keeps trying to go into the water without anything to float with, whether it's like he, like, and my mom's like, I told you not to go in the water without a noodle or a vest. I'm going to give you three choices. Either grab a noodle, a vest, or don't go in the water. So my mom keeps trying to get the kid to use a noodle vest, noodle or a vest, or something to float with, like a t inner tube or whatever. And he was refusing to put either of those on. And she had told him that he wasn't allowed to go into the water unless he had a life vest, a noodle, or something to float with. And he was refusing to grab one. And she told him, you can't, and she kept telling him that he couldn't go in the water unless he grabbed one of those things, but he was refusing to get one. So all of a sudden, my mom, the mom of the, the family, the mom of the kids comes out to check on us. And my mom is explaining to the kid, my mom's explaining to um, the mom of the two kids that he's refusing to put on a life vest or use a noodle to go swimming with. And he really wants to go swimming, but he won't use a life vest or a noodle and he's ignoring her. So the mom of the two kids makes the the son go inside and she makes him go sit down because he's not showing respect to my mom. And so they're inside talking for quite a while. And so the kid was not allowed to go in the water for the rest of the day because he was refusing because he was refusing to listen to my mom when she had told him to grab a vest or a noodle before he went in the water. Water and then the mom was showing him telling him how that she the mom was watching him and how my mom my mom was watching him and she needed and he needed to show her respect by listening to her and stuff and he was refusing to listen to her. So she had kind of a long talk with him and then after she talked to him, the kid understood. He came out, apologized to my mom for being rude and not listening to her and getting mad at her for telling him what to do. And my mom was very nice and accepted his apology and and um, was happy that he understood why she didn't want him, want him to go in the water water without a life jacket or something to float with and everything. So it was a very good reason that she had explained it to him. And he, the next time, um, the next day, I think we and we all went swimming. Um, my mom was watching all of us and the kid he put on a life vest or used a noodle to float with. So then he could go swimming, swimming and have fun with me and my friend. So I was very happy that the kid finally understood why, um, he needed to put a life vest on or use a noodle. And it was a very good thing. And I'm glad he learned that he needed to listen to my mom while she was watching, watching us in the water. So then he, he could show her respect, the same respect he shows his parents. So the moral of the story is if you're a child and you want to go swimming when your parents aren't around, and another adult is watching you, probably it's not a good idea to go in the water, but if an adult tells you you need to wear a life vest or use a noodle or something to float with, it's good to grab one of those as soon as possible. Don't refuse to grab it, because if you refuse to grab it, then you're gonna end up drowning and it's not a very good thing. So if an adult tells you to grab a life vest or grab something to float with so then you can be safe in the water. It's just a good idea to listen to the adult, especially if they're not your parents because you should always show adults the same respect you show your parents. You should always listen to the adults when they tell you to grab a noodle or a life vest or something to float with because um, it just shows that you show respect and it's also just good to listen to adults. You should always listen to an adult when they're talking to you, especially if they're trying to keep you safe. So that was a story about how one of my family friend's kids refused to put on a life vest when my mom had told him to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe.